okay typical you you generate meshes but uh, you might have some issues with some regions or another and in particular if we look at this if I um, check the element Jacobi it's like I'm under tools and then check elements and then look at Jacobians that are less than 0.5 uh, you can see actually we have a couple right here uh, around this bend relief feature on the tip ribs okay so I have them on both actually okay so there's two things one could do here one is you could you could remesh okay so we could go in here actually oops. If you want to, you can actually save the failed elements, and they'll be saved in a bit that you can recall later, but uh, here they are. Um, one thing you can do is you can delete these elements and then remesh that region. So we can delete um, like tools, delete elements, and let's just do it by window. Let's just delete these guys by window is and if we bring back the where's the okay there's the geometry for the tip rib you can go back and just go under 2d um, auto mesh pick the surfaces that are we want to mesh So that gives you a really poor mesh, but if we change the spacing to about 0.18 or something like that, recalculate all of them, and then mesh again, you can see actually uh, it looks a lot better. And if we were to go check the Jacobians, it looks like we're good in that region, okay? So that seemed to work as well. So you can do return, and there are those elements, and you can move them back to. We can move them back to the uh, tip rib collector, so that they retain the properties. So that we tools um, organize elements. We'll move from collector, so we're moving from the middle surface to that rivet lines, but to tip ribs. Move those. And there you go, now they're there. Now the other thing one can do is, like here was the other mesh, so I kept it here, and this was still problematic. The other thing you can do is you can kind of actually delete elements individually and sort of kludge them together a little bit. So we could go into, um, let's make this current for now. If we go under 2D, well the first thing you do is like, obviously some of these are problematic. Let's just work on this area for now. Okay, so let's just zoom in here a little bit, and I'm going to just delete these couple of these elements, okay? Because this this is the one that's really problematic, right? This one's somewhat so. We can just check. Let's just do another element check, or I can do delete, and I think I can actually do retrieve, and that'll retrieve the ones that failed before. So you see, these are the ones that are problematic, okay? Those were less than 0.5. Um, it's going to be hard to get. This one to work out. I guess what one could do is try to make a quadrilateral one, two, three, four, and then really cut off that circle. Or we could do one, two, three, four, but then I would have to bridge to this point too. But basically, what I'm going to try to do is I'm going to try to delete some of these things. For example, let's delete that element and let's see if we can create some new elements that might look better so you can go under 2d and under edit element you can actually directly create elements so you can 
create two triangular elements. Click on triangles and then let's pick these nodes and then these nodes. And that creates two triangular elements. But let's say I still wanted to do um, quads. So one might be tempted to, let's delete some of these other elements. Let's see if I can do even better. We'll delete this one and this one. And which other one's a problem? This guy. Well, let's just do this region for now, okay? Delete that. Um, let's see if we can split this node, this element. Element split. Whoops. Edit element. So you can split an element. Let's pick this. Wait. Pick your element. Let's pick this element. If we split it, come on, split. Oh, I gotta pick a line to split it on. Okay. So we can actually draw a line, but I can do points as well. I think we do. Split. See, it split it like that, right? And now, if we have something like that, I can create another element. Let's create. We can do some quads. So we can do a quad like this. Two, three, four. One, two, three, four. But now we just have this hanging uh, region here. I could split all these, or I could actually even delete this element. And we could put some triangles in there. Let's create some triangles so we can do like this. And then maybe a quadrilateral here. Right? So you can actually fix those elements and see if you can do a little better. We can do the same stuff down here, right? Whoops. Oh, Let's go back there. Like, let's see if we can just do a good job of cleaning up these regions. Let's just delete some of these elements. So I'm going to go back to Tools, Delete. Let's see how we do if I just clobber a bunch of these because they're all poor. Oops. Take those again. Delete. All right. Now let's see what we can do here. All right. The problem is getting down. To, wow. Is the problem is this geometry right, is is very difficult. So I would be really tempted to just see if we can figure out how to uh, put a quad just like right across the top like this to oh, but it's not letting me pick those because those are not nodes those are points so I might need to generate some points so you can go under geometry and we can create some nodes there's lots of ways to create nodes here you can do them um, you can either interpolate them or intersect them uh, or pick them off a line. So if I pick this one and I can pick a line like this, I can create two nodes on that line. There they are. Now I can use those to create another element, right? So I can do like from here to here to here to here, okay? Now again, I got a hanging node, but maybe I can fix that up as well. Um, actually, it looks like I can, because I can just make that a quad. Uh, we got some triangles here. Well, this one's problematic. See, this one's difficult. Um, boy, that one's hard. I would delete this one. Let's delete a couple more elements. We delete this one and these two. I'm going to make some elements, go back and make some new elements. Uh, elements. So let's do one like. Let's make a triangle. 
First, I can make a quad right here. I don't know if this is a great quad, but I can make that quad. I can make a triangle here. If I make a triangle like that, then I can do the other one as a quad. And then I can do a quad. Oh, no, that's not a quad. That's a five-sided thing. So I have to do another triangle here, here, and here. And then I can do a quad here. Not sure if I'm a big fan. Oops. I checked. I didn't change it to quad. Yeah, that, that that works. There's no hanging nose. I'm not no. I don't know if I'm a big fan of all that. Uh, for example, it might be a lot better if I could maybe even just if I were just to push this node a little bit to the right, it might improve this element a lot. So I can even do that. So I can do things like under tools, translate, and let's translate a node. We'll pick that node, and I can translate that just in, in X by a little bit. So I can set the X axis, and we can just give it a little nudge. Not one inch, but it'll be like, let's move it like ten increments of 10 thousandths of an inch. And so you can see that moves it that way. And then I can move it up in Z if I want. Got to be careful, make sure it stays in the plane. But you can see and that might just be enough to clean up that element. Likewise. I can also pick this node and move that down in Z and to the left in X and that might make it better you know what I mean so you know you can do a lot of those sorts of things to help fix meshes all right if you want to another good trick if you want to sort of refine areas we don't need to do it in this one I don't think but let's say you wanted to um, you had like a stress concentration here and you wanted to do a little better job with these elements you can go under where is it you can actually refine the elements it's a 2d split I think it's under utility I wasn't going to show this, so I forget where it is. When you when you move these macros, they kind of there's like little add-ons that you can do. You can actually define your own ones, and sometimes these things are quite quite can be quite useful. Maybe it is under here. I guess it is this one. Oh yeah, refine elements. They're right there. So we can pick the elements. Let's just pick them by window. Oops. Pick them by window. We'll select those elements. Didn't really do a good job with that. Didn't select the ones I wanted to. Let's do that again. Okay, let's try that again. All right, that's maybe a little better. Let's not select that one. Let's select these guys. And then we can refine the elements, and you can actually give them an element that's target size. Like, let's say it's point. We want to go down to about point one. Fine. And you can see what it tries to do is it basically takes the elements and tries to split them. Unfortunately, in these boundary regions, it can do a very poor job of, of generating elements, but it is a good way to do some local refinement if you think you have an issue. Okay, it can do a nice job, you know, especially if you have a decent mesh to begin with, like around here, it did a much better job of refining that mesh. Okay, there's a lot of other tricks you can do to kind of fix these things. Um, but even even in just doing the general mesh generation, the auto mesh, picking uh, different types of sizes and whatnot, you can actually do pretty well, okay? So those are a couple of things.